It's the 7th of December, and this is Radio Production Meeting 1. We're here to discuss the research we've been doing over the last three days, uh, how we can use it in our radio show, and what we may or may not use depending on the research done. I am going to start off. I'm Lewis, and I was researching breakfast trends, international breakfasts, and what people tend to have to eat, which I feel like fits a breakfast show because breakfast and breakfast. Um, but I looked at um, breakfast trends, so like um, how vegetarian breakfasts are becoming more popular. There are 51% at the moment. Um, and then I looked at options, which baked items. Baked items are really good for breakfast. The complex carbohydrates keep you topped up on energy. It's good information, which I feel like using in a radio show. It would help people in the morning, give, give, them, a, give them an idea of what they might, might want to eat. Um, or like salad is becoming very popular. Lots of different trends that are popping up recently. Um, and I looked at international breakfasts. So what people may eat in, say, Argentina, and they have something called media lunas, which are, they're like croissants, but smaller and sweeter, and they're typically had with coffee. And breakfast that you might not see in the England and the UK, but more so around the world, and how different cultures in, have different foods. What do you guys think? Uh, I think one uh, breakfast that's used um, in, uh, globally in any country you go to will probably always be cereal. True, true. Uh, that's probably the most common. Do you think, do you think I, I, we should have in our radio show? I think we should show how most breakfasts have a lot of energy to keep you through the day. Yeah, they do. Um, I can. Over the next two days, I can look into the difference between complex and simple carbohydrates and how having different ones in breakfast, say, impacts the amount of energy you have through the day. Something like that, maybe. That could be helpful yeah. to students. That's true. We have to be, if we consider our target audience, yeah. maybe keep it simple. Simple. Because I work for a college for like, what, nine hours? Or something so so it's good for, so it's good to remind because breakfast is the most important meal of the day that's true okay so maybe keep the focus towards our target audience yeah maybe yeah. give them ideas of what they should eat for breakfast yeah what yeah. would be the what would be the most beneficial on school days okay okay i can i can look into that all right um, do you think there's anything there that we can't use in our radio show? Probably stuff to do with other countries, because, I mean, our target audience are here, aren't they? Sure. Unless anyone it, wants to be different, or if we're going to be aiming at other ethnicities, and we want to, like, cater to what they would be used to. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we could reference it, but, I don't, yeah, I see what you mean about maybe going on about it. People are not always... Did into geography it worked <laughs> yeah. for me Renika what do you think yeah yeah I agree I think we should keep talking about food for, for this country instead of other countries because our target audiences are here okay sounds good Renika what did you research I researched what the current trends of gaming are, including mobile gaming and what impact it has on society, and Google Stadia, mm -hmm. a video game streaming service, and I looked at the new Xbox Series X and PS5. The new, the two new consoles, what the price is, 
how powerful they are compared to their previous gen consoles. Mm -hmm. So you looked at, did you, what did you find out about the Stadia? That they're soon not going to let allow you to stream games at 8k and at 120 frame rate flips per second yeah have you looked at the complications of the stadia because from what i know personally the stadia is very consuming when it comes to using internet uh, bandwidth and boxes do have limits and maybe you could talk about the limits of the stadia because i know you can i know it has it, it has such a big data drain that it's not efficient that might be something worth looking into um but i think i think it's something all college uh, like i think it would appeal to a large amount of our target audience talking about something they may be interested in like consoles especially the playstation 5 and xbox series X. What do you think, Courtney? Um, I, I mean, I guess, um, I guess it would overall be more interesting to people who who do have a powerful internet and are interested in um, in like better in better graphics and smoother gameplay, because like if it's more, if it's more powerful compared to its predecessor. Mhm. Mm yeah. I think I think it's good information that we can also use. Um, what was the first thing you said before the stadia, Renico? Mobile gaming. I think that's something we could talk about a lot because I feel like in this day and age in this society, everyone has access to a mobile. Yeah, phone. it's um mobile mobile gaming is technically the the highest. Um, but in terms of how many people who play video games, mobile gaming is the highest because pretty much everyone has some sort of app on their phone. Yeah, everyone has. So it's the Maybe biggest. Could... It's the biggest. Um, it's the biggest game industry currently in the modern day. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel like having more gives... on mobile. Yeah. Mm? I, Sorry. I, it gives game developers an opportunity to make a lot of money creating mobile-friendly games. Yeah, you're not wrong. They are they are big, they have a big audience, and access to them is very big. That's a lot of big. Um, yeah, I feel like... I feel like talking about mobile games is a lot... I feel like having mobile games over Stadia is a good call, because not many people know what the Stadia is. Plus, for our target audience, more people are going to be having a phone. Yeah. So I feel like I feel like if we skip on the Stadia, but go more in depth on the mobile and the two new consoles, if that works for you, Renico, is that okay? Yeah. Um, you could talk about trends on mobile games. You could look at the if you go on the Play Store, or the Apple Apple Store. I feel like if you went on there and looked at the top ten and maybe discuss those as well, seeing what the, the, the general public likes the most. That'd be a good, that, that'd be something we could discuss, definitely. Okay. Cool. And Courtney, what was you researching? Um, mental health during lockdown and COVID-19. Um, one thing that I found out in the in a case study that covered about nine million people is that there became during the lockdown season there became an average of eighty four suicides a month, and um and then and it increased to eighty five point four a month by June and and July and August, which if I remember correctly that was kind of in the heat of lockdown, mm -hmm. and then um then once lockdown was lifted suicide rates became they, they stopped increasing and they became a more steady they became a more steady pace again 
but they but they did increase during lockdown because for a lot of people it's a very distressing period of time of not being right. able of not being able to move around much or loved ones dying and a lot of yeah a lot of um a lot of social blame impact. in the world yeah uh, yeah is it uh, do we want to talk about death though is our issue on our radio show with our target audience i mean probably not but i mean it would probably be a good thing to mention that if anyone is getting those kind of thoughts to seek help that's because i think that's because I, I think i think that's a really important thing to advertise on a radio show especially mm-hmm. since especially since our country is pretty much going into a second lockdown so that's true. What if, what if we do talk about it? Yeah, but I think we, should I, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't like hammer it in. We shouldn't be we shouldn't be all morbid like, oh yeah, if lockdown happens again, we're all going to die. I I think it should be more like I think it should I think it should be more hopeful, like saying that there is help out there and that um if you could research you know, sources where they can get help, we yeah, could okay. then ha- we could then advertise them and we are turning it around and we're we're adding a positive spin to something that is morbid yeah but, i think i think just educating that it is an issue especially during lockdown and, that and because we're educating because we're doing it in an educational way it's a lot better than us just talking about it um yeah. because of our remit and our target audience i feel uh, educating is a good idea i feel like just I found, a, I found a website which um talks about which goes through a bunch of tips to taking care of your well-being as well okay that might be good looking into as well like uh, i'm guessing it's like mental health care and yeah self-care. yeah it's talking about ways to connect with people throughout lockdown and um, adapt yourself and um look after your physical health stuff like that what to do if you're feeling anxious that kind of stuff okay um so if we if if you over the next two days look into those things and like helping like how people can help themselves through covid yeah and then we use it in an educational way i think that would work pretty well for our show we'll keep it short we'll keep it sweet um and try to yeah educate people right Renika, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. Well, so, uh, uh, random thought, but we're going to be making this a radio show, but after Christmas, right? So in January. Yeah. So I guess yeah. we could also talk about what to, what to, um, what to do moving into January or twenty twenty one, because COVID is still going to be there. But I feel like so it's like a fresh. It's going to be less. So because yeah, I know we've got the vaccine. Yeah, it will it will be it will be less, but it will be kind of talking about how to kind of maybe instead of dwelling on what happened in the past. We focus on the future. Next. Yeah. And how to control your mental health moving forward. Mm-hmm. My internet is dying. Oh god. That's okay. We're pretty much wrapped up anyway. So uh so our, we're all allocating our research. I'm going to keep looking into breakfast for college kids recommendations and maybe a few facts on why they're good. Renico is going to be looking into mobile games and the new consoles more so than the Stadia and looking at the current trends on mobile games. And Courtney, I believe you're looking into how people can help themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think we're all done. Okay.